Welcome back. Unknown Fury here with another. I want to say unheard of horror game, but you know I heard about it, so mm, it's not really not uh, unheard of. But game today is called Iblis. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Did a little research, um, minor research. I guess it was based on a real story. It's a Turkish game, and. Uh, yeah, the character I'm going to be playing is actually based on a real person too, so the events and the person I'll be playing is based on a true story, I suppose. Although the events taking place the way that they're going to happen in this game, I do not know. And it being, you know, <laughs> connected to a real life event, um, yeah, that makes me a little nervous about this game. So, yeah, that's why on the title on the screen it says... Iblis, real psychological horror. But, you know, I just had to try it. That gives me more appeal to want to play it. So before we get started, let's uh, tweak the settings, make sure everything's good to go on that. Oh, okay, um, I guess they don't have a settings menu, guys. I will, you know, I'm sorry if the screen is too dark for you. I like to tweak it to the point where you guys can see things more because on my screen it looks normal, your screen it looks darker. I, I really gotta stop mentioning that because I feel like I kind of beat a dead horse already with that statement. But here we go. Game keys. Oyun I, I don't know if that's the tone they use to say it in their language, but yeah. Well, basic walk keys, basic run key, radio baby match TV key. I'm assuming interaction. No, oh, no, no, no. Wait. Door, cabinet, and drawers. So, those are keys that you, uh, the controls are buttons that you need to use for specific things. You can use the left click to activate the radio, a baby, a match, a TV, or a key. Press E to do a door, cabinet, or drawer. I think that's simple enough to remember. Alright, guys. We went on another journey. Here we go. Wish me luck. Well, I'm, I'm hoping I get... Ooh! Real life photo, dude. Not good. The incident took place in the village of Yakapaka. I don't know. I think that actually... The village is very religious as there are too many paranormal events in the village. Oh. Dude, I wanna... Oh god, this is a real photo they censored. A newly married couple set out for another settlement because of family pressure. Unfortunately, the bride dies in the traffic incident. Oh, accident. Another real life photo, I'm assuming. The groom's family does not feel sorry for the death because they do not love the bride. Oh, but there is a problem they do not know. Yeah, this is starting to get kind of creepy, even for me. The spirit of the bride haunts the house in a bad way, and she disturbs the household as much as possible. Alright, that's fake, but you know, still. Ooh. Now the household is asking you to break the spell that this evil spirit has made to the house. Oh man, they're putting some juju wuju icons on my screen. The whole thing is real, and you are the clergyman. That's creepy. Oh, God. Foreign games, dude. Here we go. Let's do this. I'm a clergyman. Loading? Oh, it's loading. Okay, I thought we did move. Okay, it's taking a while. Sure, the ghost is being downloaded into your computer right now, Fury. That's why. Oh, God. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. ملك الناس إله الناس من 
Okay, whatever he said. Okay, I can control the game now. What was with that breathing I just heard? All right, quick pause right here. Ah, look, now we got settings. Uh, resolution. I am. Uh, I don't know about all that. Good, high resolution. We like, we like good detail. Dude, this door is freaking realistic for what it is. I don't know. It's kinda kinda much. That must be Elvis. No, okay. I can hear my own characters breathing. That's what that is. And crap, is that blood on the floor? Well, something just happened down there, but I didn't see it. Right? Oh, man. Somebody had the bloody shits. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. Explore this top floor before I go down. Alrighty, then. I need a flashlight, fool. That can't be like a regular photo somebody would want in their house. Especially for everybody to see. Dude, this game looks hecka realistic, you know? Other than the freaking darkness of the screen? She. Okay, I thought those scratch marks were on my monitor. No, that's like I'm recording from a camera kind of deal. I could see it on your the, the stream too. That's interesting. Oh, all right, all right. We're recording. It looks like. I'm not trying to open that one, fool. Can I crouch? Can't crouch. I can only access the top drawers too. So that's a good thing. Alright. Get that. Oh, that's not a real gun, I don't think. Now this game is just make find the key. Oh, they have translation for both, I guess. I gotta find the key. Find the key. Key for that door, maybe. I should just leave all the drawers open so I know I've been there. Find the key. Dude, these freaky pictures, man. Uh, light switch? Anywhere? No? Anybody? So we're just randomly going to hear little high-pitched noises like that, huh? Alright. Ah, oh, goddammit. 
I don't know where I'm going, though. Alright, that works. There's a lot of light in here. Yeah, a butter churner? Oh, dang, dude. Some bread? Take that bread. Dude, that bread looks realistic, dude. Alright, whoever developed this game went into detail with like every freaking object, man. Or at least the assets they used were good. Cause come on, dude. That's legit. Anyways, I don't oh wait, we didn't open the drawers. If we can, that is. I wish uh interact key would open up so I can know that it's something I can interact with, but yeah, it's alright. It makes it more realistic. I am not going that way. I, I, I gotta find a flashlight or something. Dude, I, I'm like really on the edge right now. <laughs> this is a little much. Let's go back to where we started. gonna catch it oh there's a note on that on the door there uh, I'm gonna check that out but let me make sure there's no um, nothing I left behind here no keys no keys no drawers to open so let's check this note break the spell find the key to the exit door and escape the house oh yeah yeah Balls. <laughs> Booyah yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Where would the key be? Where would I be if I were a key? Yeah, I bet you I'm just gonna have to travel down that dark hall. Alright, no key here, no key on the bed. I don't think I see a key here. Screw it, we're going downstairs. We're gonna wander aimlessly in that dark hall that I can't see. Nope. Nope. Nothing here next to the phone? Nope. Alright, turn off that radio. have the radio on. <laughs> God, that freaking picture, man. Alright, right, down the dark hall it is. Oh, I can't go anywhere over there. What am I looking for? Okay, something triggered. Is that behind me or in front of me? I can't tell. Alright, let's go upstairs.
can't be in my room. I think this place is like protected. These are like seals or something. Alright, let's just go to every single room. And see what's up. Because man, I, I went to like everything like search thoroughly, I believe I did. Yeah, the door downstairs just opened. Let's go. We gotta fight it eventually. Let's go. Where are you, fool? Oh, I'm getting the tingles. Oh, that door wasn't open earlier. There's a baby. Close that door, fool. Close it. Close it. God, you're just asking for something to sneak up behind you. No, no, no. Ah, well, now the door closed. Thank you. Um. Oh, my vision's blurring. Nope, oh, somebody's running upstairs. Let's see if I can find something in here. Looks like nothing. Can I open the door? Cannot open the door. Come to this place without a freaking flashlight. Is it just me or is there like some shadow in front of me? Okay. The hell, dude? Is this open yet? suspensed up for nothing. Alright, let's go back down. There's nothing new here. Yep, nothing new here. Saying, find the key, find the key. I can't see crap, dude. I don't think that baby has something to do with it, though. 
but I can't interact with it. Can't pull the, a drawer out or open the door or anything. Build up is taking way too long. Oh, I recall seeing a light switch. Hmm. No idea what to do. going around places until something triggers. small area. How am I not finding what they want me to find? Is that a cabinet up there? Maybe I can interact with that. No? Shit, really? What do they want me to do? Can't open this side. Alright, this is freaking more annoying than anything now. Alright, let's go back to my room. Maybe there's. Oh, wait. Maybe there's something to do with the. Um, that little book I have over there. Yes, it was something with my book. Oh god. Oh, oh great. Now I got no lights. What do I do? I got no lights, man. Okay. Is there an axe on the floor right there? That isn't a friggin' axe. Why can I hear the outside? It's... Alright, the doll's gone. The doll's gone. Find that doll. I know there's a door here. No, can't open that door. Alright, so the goal was to go to the dark room that I can't even see, but I can guess which direction I'm going. Right here. Nope. Alright. 
Me walking backwards? I think I'm walking into the bathroom right now. Right, and if I go straight this way, I'm gonna hit the wall, turn to the right slightly, walk forward, turn to the left. That's the other room, but I can't see. Now I really don't know where I am. Right, hopefully I can find my way out of here. Alright, cool. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, turn off more lights, why don't you? Oh, yeah, let's, let's pull out our flashlight now. I guess he had one the whole freaking time. Oh. Eee. Yeah. Loud noises. Okay, so it was just a chair right there. Why would you barely pull it out your flashlight, man? I'm glad I can see everything now. A scythe. Oof. <laughs> All right, let's go get it. Hello. Do I kick you or walk over you? Yes, I walk over you. Radio turned off. Yep, the radio turned off. I wonder if I'm even gonna see anything. This one wasn't open before. Alright, we got the key. Alright, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been hearing that like 24-7 already. Oh! Good. We had a freaking blanket ghost over there just a second ago. Should I be going that way or use the key? Eh, let's go use the key. The baby leads the way. He guards the door. Can I can I use the key on this door? Yes, I can. I don't trust you with that axe. Oh, they got the cool stuff in here. All right, got a TV. Bismillah. What? Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. I don't speak Spanish. لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض. من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء Somebody's gargling, growling right now I don't freaking know But why he put his flashlight away I don't know Let's go towards the fire Holy. Yeah, we're going towards it. Hi. <laughs> and it disappeared. 
Check your back. Check your corners. We ain't alone. Oh, blood on the wall. Wasn't there before. I gotta turn off all the lights, man. Alright, we're not going this way. Let's go check that room again. Imagine if this was your job. Oh man. Oh, I guess there's a different key for that room. I wonder if I can open this front one. Find the exit key. Right, let's go back upstairs then. Yep, there's a lot of new things going on here. Great, let's go to the telephone. Yay! Stay there, baby. Nothing on the telephone. Alright, let's go back upstairs then. little book here nothing Okay, I like the spooky atmosphere that this thing's giving off, but it's starting to get annoying with it. You have to go like to the right spot just to make the whatever interaction is supposed to happen occur. It ran down the hall, right? TV's on. Oh, shoot. That's creepy. Where's that at? <laughs> yeah, we don't need to see that. <laughs> Looks like they ran down this way. I wonder if that door is open. We'll check in a second. Alright, let's go check this door. Nope. 
All right, upstairs it is. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, it's the triggering of events that's kind of slowing me down in this game right now. We're going over here. Let's go see what this is. Yada yada yada. Da da da. Nothing. 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 Go full circle in this room. Head on out. Go full circle in this room. Nothing. Then we're gonna go full circle in this room. I don't think this painting was upside down before. Full circle in this room. Probably close these doors now. Still nothing in these drawers. here there's nothing now let's go all around the kitchen the vase somebody touched the vase can't touch it I just had to put my music back on, you know. I don't even know where the doll went anymore. My best bet is whatever it is is attached to that doll. Where's the next trigger event? wasn't the bathroom we, we went in here look everywhere is it on like a time-based event or what I mean, it sucks too, because at the same time, I'm like, I don't know what to expect, because I don't know what to do. Hello. I'm going to leave that on. See if that makes a difference. Nothing around it either. Like a key. That's bugging me. Telephone. 
Lock. Weird chair. This door I still can't get into. To the kitchen it is oh you know what was this always on the floor here oh well, nothing came of it at least if it was on the wall nothing new came out like stuff on the floor all right maybe there's something in the kitchen Never read that. In here. Turn the butter. Maybe that's the trigger. I was supposed to see that. But then I'm wondering how the game mechanics work in here then. I don't know what I'm doing. give up. Let's go upstairs. If nothing happens upstairs, time to look at a game guide. Quick pause, I'm gonna see what the heck I'm missing. Alright. Last time I was there. It's kinda in an open area. So he went to this room, he looked at this dresser. Then da da I guess there's keys now. I don't know when it got there, but there's keys now. But no need to watch the video anymore since we know what to do now. Ooh, it's a basement. 
and a wooden pallet. That's where you're supposed to keep those things. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, you know, use your flashlight, fool. Flashlight should last you 24-7, man. So that's probably why this place is haunted, because, I mean, her body is, like, right here. We're gonna go over here, and I'm sure we're gonna have to turn on that TV. Turn on. Uh, guess you can't. Let's go back upstairs, then. Do do do. Do do do. Hey -ya. Flashlight. Oh, door's locked. Door's locked. Alright, go back down. Oh, nice, nice, nice. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got? Nothing? Ah, that's something that's gonna happen when I walk up to it. What about this side? Ooh, it's like symbolizing somebody crawled out of here. Turn this way. And all the way around. Da cha cha. But oh, we can't do anything. It's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. How you doing? How you doing? No? Alright. <gasps> it went dark. Okay, she's gone. Behind me? Maybe? TV? Maybe? No? Okay. Oh god. Check the grave. It's not the grave. It's growling upstairs. They're growling upstairs. It sounds like it's like right on my ear though, man. Oh, there's the baby. Man, we gotta burn that doll, exercise it, whatever you gotta do. But it's gotta be that doll. Freaking moving around the house like nothing. Find five dolls and drop them into the grave. Well, I got one for you right there. How do I pick it up? Can't crouch. Man. I'll do that, but you know, not letting me do that. Can I open the door? No. How do I pick it up? Just go back to the grave then. Oh, okay. go in the corner. Go in the corner. Can't get you if you're in the corner. You can see it coming before it does. what I think. Alright, still nothing with this. That doll's gone. Alright. So that creaking I heard means the door upstairs is open. So I'm assuming now we should be able to collect the dolls. So let's go around and do that. 
First time we saw one was right here, but it's not here. Second time was there. Don't remember seeing one in here. And TV's still creepy. All right. Kitchen. I bet you. Kitchen. Aha! There you are, fool. But watch my corners here. All right. I got uno. Oh, there's dos. Dos dollars. Senior. All right, something should pop out now. Ha! No, nothing. Ha! Nothing. Upstairs it is. Get ready. Ha! Whoa. No. Make sound effects. You're tactical. That's all it takes. All right, we got three. Is there one in my my, my special chamber? <gasps> they can come in my special chamber. Yeah, that sounds weird. All right, that's four. <laughs> last one and the last room I haven't checked yet. Whoa, there it is in the closet. What you doing in the closet? Just come out of the closet, man. That's five. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Move, move, move. I think we're doing the ghosty a favor by grabbing the dolls, man. I don't think this is a good thing. The message on the wall is gone. Alright, get ready. It's gonna get scary and up in here. Whoa. Oh, she's watching us. Oh, there's a bunch more dolls here now. I don't know what that says, and they did not provide an English translation for it. Go check the TV. Uh, I think those count as me putting the dolls there. Because there's five of them. Let's go back. I'm nervous. It's gonna get me. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 new message. Find fire and burn the babies. The babies. I know where that's at. It's to my right. Then to my right again. All right, it's in here. And to my right again. Fire. Is that what he meant by fire, though? They can't interact with it. Damn it. Maybe they're talking about a match, maybe? So, kitchen? Find some fire. Quick pause, guys. I'll be right back. Let's try to find some fire. Wasn't in the kitchen. It wasn't that burning stove, apparently. Uh, 
And now we gotta be careful to look around because those keys sprung like sp <laughs> sprung out of nowhere. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm gonna take some cigarettes, ashtray. All right, guess we're going upstairs. Hello, you. What's up, Shay? Too bad you missed the beginning, but uh, it's pretty creepy. Pretty creepy, but annoying at the same time. <laughs> I try my best. Alright, alright, no no problem. Alright, uh, the only thing I can think of is whatever the fire source they want me to use is in the freaking basement. Ah, uh, creepy chick. Oh, this is Turkish, so. <laughs> this is fire right here. Use this. Ah! Pick it up. It's friggin' fire. Oh my god. Whatever, we're going in the basement. I guess that's where they want me to go. Octopus, how you doing, man? What do you think? What do you think this is similar to? I don't know. I haven't played one like this yet. I liked it from the first look at it because it's pretty friggin' detailed. Burn the babies, press E. Oh, my freaking Jeebus. I didn't have to find fire. All right, there, I burned the babies. Burn. Burn. Wasted my time looking for fire. Messed up. Oh, no, no, no. They're not real babies. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're, they're evil, possessed doll looking babies. So it's okay. It's all bueno. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. But the game is pretty realistic and you got like features like this. Man, that's pretty cool, you know? And it's unique because I have not seen anything this detailed with the same, like, video game assets this one is using. I don't know what freaking assets it's using, but I haven't seen these, like, commonly in other games. This is pretty good so far. Smells like barbecue. You know, put those baby back ribs on the... on what? Uh, A lot of people use the freaking uh, Unity. Oh, wait, wait. Find fire and burn the babies. I already did that. What do you want me to do? God dang it. 
But they, that's that's my complaint right now for the game. Is that there's a lot of roaming around, back and forth. There's like four rooms or no, like five rooms in total in this game. In all five rooms, they keep having me go through everywhere in the beginning to trigger an event. Okay, I'm back now. The grave is gone. There's a ram skull on there. The the, the, the babies are crisp now. Alright. Let's get that skull, huh? It won't let me pick it up. But that's the thing. So now I'm all the way at the back of this room right here. Seeing all this, now it's going to make me go back. <laughs> yeah, it's a walking simulator. So I'm going to walk back, and I'm sure something's going to trigger now. Oh, but let me walk over here. Go side. But see? A door just opened. So now we got to go up. No, unfortunately. I freaking... I was like... Look, oh, I, I'm gonna check again. I was like eagle eyed staring at my freaking phone, making sure that thing's gonna arrive today, but. Pause, guys. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, there's a note now. It's a note, say. Boo you, you, Bozdoon. Anatari. I know Atari. I bove git. Alright, you broke the spell. Find the key and go. Alright, let's find the key. I don't need to find a key. I don't need to find no friggin' key. Just give me that. Oh, shoot. Oh, that, that's not you guys, I'm pretty sure. Somebody's not. Oh! I don't want to step on that. It's like a little devil trap kind of deal. Alright, there's no keys. See, like this pot right here, man. Come on, that's unique. I haven't seen that in other games yet. <laughs> oh, man. Go upstairs. Maybe the key's up there. But I definitely don't want to step in the middle of that. That looks dangerous. But, you know, if I was a smart guy, I'd take that axe and chop that door down. Let's see. Yep, freaky chick still on the screen there. Looking at us. Alright, let's turn that off. You're annoying. Upstairs it is. I would have to guess it's at my start location. Oh, so apparently this place is haunted. Guy's wife died. Um, not my, not me or anything, but um, the clergyman was sent here, and I'm the clergyman to uh, take care of the haunting. Um, and if you guys didn't hear any of the beginning of the stream, this is like based on true events, and the person I'm playing in the game is actually a real person. So yeah, what we're walking through right now actually occurred, as far as it being as, you know, graphic or scary as it is right now, I don't know, but just know it's based off of something that actually happened. And at the beginning of this game, it looked like he used real photos that he uh, censored and blurred out of everything that happened. Yeah, that's why I was a little creeped out when I started this game. I'm like, I'm gonna summon some bad wooju juju in my house right now by playing this game. I don't see the key. I bet you have to step in that circle. All 
All right, let's go step in the circle. Uh, right, something weird happened. Then I went everywhere already. So let's try going back down in the basement and maybe that's what will work. Nah, no, seriously, I'm gonna get a little phone call right after I finish this game. Alright, it's all pitch black dark in here now. Making me think I'm on the right track. Press E to burn the babies again. <laughs> Alright, that's some leftover text. Oh, I can't walk over here. Alright, alright. I was thinking maybe the keys would be on this table or something. No. There were some parts in this game already that I think would probably scare you guys. Say, like, uh... You know, if you were bad. <laughs> I don't know about you, Shay. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure about what scares you. But, yeah. I know bad would jump. <laughs> or else he's going to be like, Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Me, I'm just like, Oh, well, that's scary. <laughs> God dang, dude. See, this is what I mean. This is annoying me about this game is going back and forth, making sure you just you hit the right spot at the right angle. That way it triggers the next event. Or else maybe I'm just not seeing the key and I'm not looking right. Because they made everything fairly easy to spot in this game. But it's just when it decides to appear in a place that I can pick it up is what's annoying. Sinner. Alright. No keys here. No keys here. No keys up there. No keys down there. No keys there. No keys up there. Alright, so, I mean, now I'm going to go back upstairs and see if I see anything. And if that doesn't work, good old YouTube is going to guide me to the right place. Nothing here. Talk with my book. Hubba-da, hubba-da, hubba-da. Nothing. Alright. No keys there. Keys on the bookshelf, maybe? No keys keys on the bookshelf. Alright, go in the bathroom to the left. Nothing there, nothing there. Not on the toilet, not on the scrub brush. Nothing in here. Screechy noise again. The screechy noise happens like on the, like, uh, on the timer. Bedroom, not here, not there, not there. Close the drawers and open them up again to see if it appears in there. Close this one. Oh, I have. I have already. I'm pretty sure we'll see one before we leave. If we get out of here, that is. Alright, open this up again. Nothing. Open this up. Nothing. Open this up. Nothing. Uh, that's everything. I checked everything. We'll go downstairs and stand in this circle. And me and YouTube are going to have a conversation real quick. I'll be right back. 
All right, we're gonna continue. So, that's a review. I don't know how long the guy was walking around, but he found it in the kitchen. It was right here. So, I don't think there was anything I have to do before that. I think I just have to let time lapse. So, we're gonna go thoroughly walk around everywhere again. Or maybe I have to try to interact with this door. So we'll do that. Act like I'm trying to interact, interact with everything. Turn on this TV. Just in case that has something to do with it. Walk around every inch of this room. Mess with the telephone over here. Go over here. Turn on the radio. Go around this room, just keep clickety clicky clicky, press buttons, press buttons, press buttons. Nothing, 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 nothing. Go over here, hit the door again. Okay, that screechy sound happened. Let me see, let me see. Is it different yet? No. It's not different yet. Let's go upstairs and do the same crap and see what happens. No, exactly what I mean. I, I'm not liking this game for that particular reason. It seems like it's a time-based thing before something actually happens. I don't know what makes it trigger, but... <laughs> I, well, I thoroughly searched everything. But I think it's requiring me to stand at a certain spot within the freaking game before something happens. I saw him, I think when he found the keys he went straight from the basement. Because he searched the basement too. But he went upstairs, and he went straight to the kitchen, and that's when he saw it. So the last spot we're gonna, there's that noise again. I'm wondering if that's telling me, like, the next triggered event happened. I don't know. Or else it's just on the time loop, too. But let me go check, because that noise happened. I want to know if that's what's making it happen. Let's see. Da 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 da. Yep, there it is. I got the keys. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I suppose. Then we should be able to get out of here now. Unfortunately, if they don't show something now... You missed the, the, the monster looking thing. Well, there you have it guys. Iblis. The real psychological horror game. What can I say about this game? <laughs> Game took me a total of an hour and 39 minutes. Honestly, roughly an hour still though. About this game, as far as my review goes. I liked it. Honestly, I did like it. The game itself had a good presence, a good little atmosphere. Where I felt creeped out going through that house the whole time. You didn't know what to expect. And just everything being dark and the weird noises you hear I'm like yeah it made you feel like something was there then even the little you know the little fact that they put in like oh it's based on real events and stuff that made it even better I mean like so you know I'm going through there creeped out because I'm like oh god I'm gonna summon some bad juju on me right now by playing this game but at the same time the ghosts that they show 
They show her like probably, I want to say three or four times throughout the game. And that's it. And when we see her, yeah, it's good. Jump scares aren't well played out though. I, they could have done a better job playing out those jump scares. Yes, it's based on real events, but doesn't mean you can change it up to make it better. <laughs> um, but I have to give it a good rating because I just love the way it made me feel throughout the whole playthrough. I did feel nervous the whole time. Not a lot of games do that nowadays, so I have to give them props for that. But that time-based triggering events, work on that. I did not want to spend freaking 30 minutes walking through the same rooms waiting for something to happen. That's what it felt like. I was just waiting the whole time every time I was trying to get triggered to the next event. Because I went through several rooms like probably 10 times before something happened. When I say 10 times, I meant like I had to go past it three or four times for this event. I had to go past it again three or four times for this event and three or four times for the next event. And it's like, that's very annoying. <laughs> But, yeah, scary-wise, good. Well, guys on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, consider, you know, liking the video, subscribing, or just leaving the comment. But I'll see you on the next scary stream.